Question 17. Some girls did a sponsored swim to raise money for charity. The table shows information about the m amounts of money in pounds the girls raised. So you've got the least amount of money, the greatest amount, the median, the lower quartile and upper quartile. On the grid, draw a box plot for the information in the table. Right, box plot. Well, box plot, there's one there. That's what it is. That's the lowest. That's the highest. Lower quartile, upper quartile, and the median. The interquartile range is the difference, the distance between the lower quartile and the upper quartile. And the range is the distance between the lowest and the highest. So, least amount of money was 10. So, put it roughly in the middle. Uh, I'll go next to the lower quartile, 16. So, it goes up in one, so there's 16, make it a bit bigger. Don't worry if you do it a slightly different size to the one below. As long as you've got the lines in the right place, you're okay. Uh, the median then is 25, which is there. Then you've got the upper quartile at 42. And then the greatest amount, which was 45. And then, oh dear, that line doesn't look that great. Make the middle part into a box and then join the greatest and the lowest with sticks. There you go. So that's part A. Uh, some boys also did the sponsored swim. The box plot shows information about the amounts of money in pounds that boys raise. So there you go. Compare the amounts of money the girls raised with the amounts of money the boys raised. Right, to get the two marks here, you need to compare the medians, which is there and there, and you can see the boys' median is higher. And then also you need to compare a measure of spread, which means either compare the interquartile range or the range. First of all, I'll say something about the medians. So here's the boys, they've got a higher median. So the boys' median is greater. And then you've got to say something, uh, what that actually means in context. So just uh, meaning that generally, The boys collected more money. And then say something about the spread. Now remember the range from there to there, there to there, is influenced by outliers. What that what's that mean? For example, this one boy here who hardly did anything, who hardly collected any money, he might be considered an outlier. Uh, let's say there was one boy who collected a million pounds and the range would be huge because of that boy who collected a million pounds. So what the interquartile range does, it takes the difference between the two quartiles which also means it's not affected by outliers. So I think it's usually best to say something about the interquartile range. In this case the girls interquartile range is bigger so you'll say the girls had a greater interquartile range which means that the amount they collected was more spread out than, oops, this is that, the boys. Don't worry about being all technical here, just say something that roughly means what you want to say. It's not an English exam. So the boys' median is greater, meaning that generally the boys collected more money. The girls had a greater interquartile range, I know that because this bit is bigger than this part, uh, meaning that the amount of money they collected was more spread out than the boys. And that should give you two marks.